everybody and welcome back to my channel dreaming of disney 24 7 i hope you're doing okay so welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is rachel I like to vlog all things disney if you're not new here welcome back and good to see you again so sorry if there was no vlog last week um life was just really really busy i just physically just didn't have the time to record anything uh, i've got a lot going on at the moment but uh anyway service has resumed normal service has resumed so i've been promising a while ago i was going to do a uh, vlog of my collection of mini ears so I'm breaking it down into at least two parts because the collection is quite vast. I'm starting with my official Disney ears, so uh, we'll get started with those and then we'll do the, well, I'll do small shop ones the following week. So I might as well start with the ears I'm wearing. So I will take a quick take them off. These are the Pride ears that came out last year from Shop Disney. I absolutely love the, love the collection, love what it represented. Just amazing. I have cut the tag off because the tags was like, ridiculously long. I thought, what's the point? But if um, you look closely, see if that's blurry it says love at the side so these are fantastic they're so colorful and obviously i know they haven't got the bow so you probably call them mickey ears i guess but uh love these very excited very excited to buy these so i will start off with my sparkly collection first seeing as of these these are quite sparkly so i have these these are from shanghai disney i won these in a competition from sam's disney life a few weeks ago along with a lounge fly bag as well the make a wish one so uh yeah very excited to have those, they're very pretty with the stars on. Next I have the Make-A-Wish ears. I won these from a com on a competition from Sprinkle of Disney UK. They're friends of mine, they uh, do raffles and stuff with all, all these kinds of Disney merchandise. So these are the ears, I, I could choose what I wanted. And um, there was a few different things, but as soon as I saw them, because I was regretting buying, not buying these the first time they came round. So as soon as I saw those were, those were an option, I had to uh, get those straight away. So moving on, I'm going to have a collection of ears everywhere in a minute. So I love, oh, I forgot the first pair, I just chucked to one side. So these were actually the very first pair of ears I brought. These are from Disneyland Paris, they are just silver, you can see, silver bow. I brought these, are the first, like I say, first ever pair of ears I bought, I was quite late into buying mini ears. But uh, more than more than made up for it now. Um, yes, yeah, so, well, I think these are 2017. I brought these, so my first ever pair. So uh, I have. Uh, you never forget your first, as they say. <laughs> okay, so next I have the purple potion ears. So these are my favourite. Purple's my favourite colour. So I've got quite a few pair of these off eBay. So this is one of them. So these are obviously like Shanghai Disney's version of purple potion. So I love these. Uh, absolutely gorgeous colour. I'd love the lounge fly bag to match them, but uh, they're virtually impossible to get hold of. Or if you do see them on eBay, they're like crazy prices, and I'm just not prepared to pay it. So that's those. I'm going to try and keep this as quick as possible because I do have quite a lot of ears to get through. Um, rose gold, classic rose gold. I mean, who doesn't love rose gold coloured ears? Or just rose gold as a colour in general. They are so beautiful. Again, another purchase I made from eBay. Because obviously, you know, you can't go to Disney parks very often. I did look out for these when we was there in 2019. But they they did, they did had rose gold ears and stuff, but they were a different design. And I was a bit unsure about them, and I wanted these ones. So I managed to get these on eBay when I came back. Um, classic millennial pink. Absolutely beautiful. Again, another eBay purchase. I've got quite a few off eBay, actually. All reasonably priced. So again, Shanghai Disney. i just do a bit of a close up without it getting all blurry so very poofy a nice poofy bow love 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 okay these next i think these are my last sparkly ones um the arendelle blue ears so i was really excited to get these so i want we went in 2019 obviously I'm, you know sure some of you might have seen my disney world vlog series i got these on halloween night actually we'd gone to disney springs and could not find them anywhere as soon as we got there they were just out of stock everywhere and we was in um, the world of Disney, which is my favourite shop ever. And I literally, I saw them. And I don't think I've ever shifted so quick in my life to get to the rail of, um, of them. I sifted through, because obviously sometimes the bows can be a bit squashed and whatever. So I searched for what I see as the perfect pair. And these are what I got. And obviously then when I was walking around Disney, I think we were on to Epcot the next day. And I had so many people asking me where I got them from. Because I guess obviously, like myself, couldn't find them anywhere. And... Uh, desperate to find some I don't think I ever saw them again actually on that holiday since I brought them that day so I got very lucky very lucky indeed um also another pair I bought on my Disney World trip 
was these. So these are Coco ears. I brought these and wore them to the um, Halloween party. Mickey's very, God, I said the Merry Christmas party then. The uh, Halloween party. I can't get my words out today. I don't know what's going on. So these were, when I found these, I loved them, but I don't know if anyone else who's got these found the same. The bow is quite flimsy and some of them are like really cracked. And I've got to be honest, I don't think it would take a lot to damage this bow, but I love Coco. And as soon as I saw, because it's got purple on, I was like, yeah, I need to have these. And I had them for the Mickey's uh, not so scary Halloween party. Yes, got my words out. Woohoo! So yeah, I got those for them. Got them for that, should I say. Oh, I picked too soon, didn't I? Anyway, moving on. So next I have these. I got, an, again, another eBay purchase. I think these are the 2019 version of the Christmas gingerbread Mickey and Minnie ears. So yeah, I'm sure I got these off eBay. I think these cost me like 17 pound. So it's always worth having a look on eBay. Again, they are, I think, as it's got the Dis Disney Parks tag on. So the official Disney ears, and I didn't pay a lot for them. So uh, very happy with those. So moving on to the next set of ears. If any of you follow me on Instagram, you know last year I was a big collector of the Minnie Mouse main attraction stuff. Absolute nightmare. <laughs> Brings back horrible memories. <laughs> but I do love the collection, so it was worth it. So I did, I've got these. These are not the actual official Minnie Mouse main attraction ears, but I've got these, obviously Shanghai have done their own version because to get the actual original ones are just, the prices on eBay are just ridiculous. You're looking at, two to three hundred pound minimum just for a pair of ears and as much as I would love to have the original original then I'm just not prepared to pay that I think all that's missing there's um, supposed to be like a little Mickey Mouse on here on the bow somewhere like a little white like hidden Mickey I guess so uh, I think that's the only difference I saw that little tip on Sam's Disney Life vlog but um, yeah so these will do at the end of the day 30 I think I paid 30 quid 30 quid so common, 30 pounds for them off eBay. And I mean, obviously that's what they're originally for, the Minnie Mouse to train, the official Minnie Mouse. God, it's a mouthful that is, isn't it? You know what I'm trying to say. But they will do. I am not, uh, I'm more than happy with those. Right, <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a freak out here internally and you'll understand why in a minute. I've, I've recently, if you've just seen on Instagram, I bought the, um, I managed to get on eBay recently, the Pirates of the Caribbean ears. And I got them at a, an amazing price because those ones are really hard to get. And they are, if you see them on eBay, uh, buy now they're usually like 70, 80 quid easy. But quid again. Oh, you know what I'm trying to tell you. Um, <laughs> God, I had a week off vlogging and I turned absolutely useless. Yes, I've got them, but for the life of me, can I find them? No, I only had them in my hand a few days ago and they've just magically disappeared. I'm, I'm sure they're in the house somewhere. But internally, I'm sobbing my heart out right now because I can't find them. I will insert a picture of them somewhere up here or here. But I've also lost, while I was looking, or while I was getting sorted my ears out for this vlog, I've suddenly realised I had the holographic ears as well, the silver holographic ears, and they've disappeared. God knows where they've disappeared to. I'm sure I'll find them, but I couldn't spend all day looking for them. So again, I'll certain picture and picture of those somewhere. But yeah, I'm uh, having a bit of an internal freak out right now, but I'm sure I'll find them eventually because they were very, very hard to find, and especially for the price I paid for them. I think I got them for like £36 with post of packaging. Some girl was obviously flog selling all her ears off, and she just did like a buy, you know, started from like 99p, and I just got very lucky at the time. So she's one of those kind people who wasn't trying to rip people off. So muchas gracias to you, lovely. I just hope I can find them. <laughs> anyway. Enough of my freak out, let's continue. So the one pair of ears I did manage to get properly was the Peter Pan ears. Now I have cut the tags off, because at the time I thought, well I'm gonna wear and I'll just cut the tags off. So these are the proper ones, obviously got the long tag. Uh, to the, for the life of me, I don't know why it needs to be that long because you're not gonna want that sticking, sticking out, so I just tend to cut them off. Yeah, so that's those, the Peter Pan ears, so pretty. Couldn't believe them. Look, I think they relaunched another pair. They relaunched a lot after the initial launch. I managed to get one then, so I got very, very lucky. Now, these I have. So I've, I've missed out a big chunk of the Minnie Mouse ears because I just couldn't get them. I am working on getting them at some point, so I've gone pretty much... I pretty much started getting them from, from the Peter Pan onwards. Uh, these, the carousel ears, these were the July ones. Now, a very lovely friend, Kay, who from Sprinkle of Disney UK, gifted me those, so she knew I really wanted them, and she kindly brought them for me, which was very, very kind of her, so eternally grateful to you for that. So that's one less pair of ears I've got to collect. Obviously, I've kept the tags on these ones now, 
because I, after, I massively regretted cutting the tag off the uh, Peter Pan ones, but now what's done is done. So, yep, yeah, that's another pair of mini ears I've got from the collections. I've got every, well, I've got every one from then, from then on. So I've got the August pair, which is the Dumbo themed ears. I love these. They are so colourful. I can't wait to wear these around Magic Kingdom. Rob's always like, how are you going to all take, you know, you need an extra suitcase just for your ears. I'm sure I won't take every single pair I've got to Magic, to Disney World, but... There's also the point in buying them then, but, nah. Yeah. He's got back about 15 grey hoodies in his uh, wardrobe, so, and I don't question that. And at least these are all different. A grey hoodie is a grey hoodie. <laughs> anyway, enough of had domestic disputes, not even here, to defend himself. Okay, so next I have the Big Thunder Mountain Minnie Mouse Main Attraction is These were number nine in the series. When I first saw these on the picture, because I used to, release a pic used to release a picture every month, I was a bit unsure. But as soon as I got them, I loved them. They again, very poofy and nice bow. Because I didn't know after they were like sequiny. If you can, I just hate it. It's blurry. So proper look. Absolutely love those. So moving on to the next pair. So the Halloween themed ones. So these are the Madam Madam was it Madam Leota themed ears. Fossey from the Haunted Mansion. Amazing. So it's got the lovely little. Head, I uh, can't think what you'd call it. Bit of netting. <laughs> veil, that's, oh my God, what's happened to me? Yeah, veil, right, so a little veil, and obviously got the uh, haunted mansion ribbon. These are so cool. It wasn't what I was expecting for the Halloween ears to come, um, but uh, really, really nice. So put those away. Next pair. So these are the, oh, they're a bit, squash after being in the box these are the jungle cruise themed ears now i don't think this collection was as popular as a lot of the other ones because i tend to see a lot of stuff online at a quite reasonable price and when i first one, I was like oh i'm not sure but then i thought well once you've bought the whole collection you got you got to keep going on with it haven't you so but no i do really like these are quite cool they've got like a leopard print headband and obviously the elephant up there so I think my feathers have got a little bit bent. So I'm just trying to sort that out. Okay, and last but not least, the December pair. So these are the castle one. So this this collection for this month was specifically important to me because it's my, it was my birthday month and it was really important. I bought the whole collection that month. So I managed to get, through the help of my lovely friend Kay, who, uh, big shout out to Kay and Claire. Love you girls. Um, I wanted the whole collection that month because every month I used to cut the mini mass man attraction I'd get the pins the plush and then the ears but for this one because it was my 40th birthday I wanted the full shebang and it's you know what it's like anyone trying to get hold of those bags it's an absolute mare so Kay managed to get the hold of the bag for me in fact there's a little bit of a funny story to this um obviously they used to come out on the 18th of every month but December it was early because obviously Christmas fought coming early obviously because of Christmas and to get it delivered in time but I totally forgot about the day I totally forgot it was early and normally I'd set my alarm I'd, be, I'd have my laptop my phone ready it was like a proper Robert clear the house because he just said you're too you too much of a nightmare and I was so I completely forgot all about it Kay messaged me I managed to get you the bag and the ears did you get everything and honestly my heart just sank I was like <gasps> I've never my hands were shaking I managed to get on my laptop I managed to get the ears myself I managed to get these myself I managed to get the pins the plush and the mug because like I wanted the full amount and Kay got me the bag so I managed to get it that month but oh my god I was shaking like well no, I was about to say it then but I was so I was like oh my god I can't believe I forgot it all it came out early so I managed to get everything so I got the full full amount so yeah this is my Disney ear collection obviously my so that's my Disney ear collection the official Disney is done so far obviously there'll be I'm sure there'll be more many more added to that I really like the purple like the lilac purple ones which I'll insert a picture somewhere. They are so pretty, so but they're really quite hard to get hold of. Normally, I can find quite a lot off eBay, but I think the only ones I can really get of those are off Amer from America. So uh, I'll have to hang fire with them. There's many, many more I like, and there's obviously going to be many more brought out. So that collection, as it stands, will continue to grow. Obviously, I've still got those two that are missing somewhere. I'm having an internal freak out. I'm trying to keep calm. I'm sure I'll find them somewhere. God knows what's happened to them, but I know I've seen them, and I can't see why Robert Ollie had want them. I probably just fell down the back somewhere. But never mind, I'm sure they'll turn up. So thank you for watching me waffle on for another God knows how many minutes. Um, 
give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to see what we've got obviously i'll have part two coming up so that'll be obviously my small shop ears i might do it into three actually because i've got a lot of random small shop ears and i've got a small shop i buy from a lot which you probably see me wearing bespoke stitches co so i'll do that one just on its own because i've got a lot of ears from her and i've got two ear two pairs of ears coming from her which i'm very very excited about the one pair is very super califragilistic expialidocious so uh <laughs> what do i do a wink from such a moron but um got some floating now um yeah <laughs> i'll end it there i think i probably peaked um yes thanks for watching and i'll see you on next week's vlog for the small shop here so take care and i'll see you then bye